Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. So looks like I'm a father now and <laughs> I got too many to look after. I'll tell you that there's too many babies in here. Um, not sure if all of them are going to make it but today is day one. I woke up this morning and they started free swimming. Um, I did lose a handful but it looks like a lot of them made it so the majority of them are what you're looking at and then I also got a handful over there I'm not sure if you guys can see all that they're doing just great so I actually just put in some brown shrimp in there and uh, today's their first day so they're not all eating some of them just won't eat and they'll die but the majority of them it'll take them a few days until they recognize baby brown shrimp as a food source and then they'll start going after baby brown shrimp every time uh, the funny thing is is that You'll notice that the sponge filters are off. Uh, the reason why I do this is because it's easier for them to go after the baby brown shrimp. There's not too much airflow restricting their movement. They're not being blown all over the place. And eventually they're going to learn that as soon as these filters stop blowing bubbles and they become unplugged, they'll know it's feeding time. And that's funny. Um, Hopefully, they'll make it that far to where I can show you guys that. But, you know, today's the first day. It's May 2nd, 2017. And these guys just started free swimming. And I got a good amount. They're like little ants. Um, they're all over the place. So, as you can see, some of them, their bellies are like uh, orange. And they seem to be doing good so far. Hopefully, they'll make it. Um, I did get a auto feeder. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. So I got this auto feeder and I was going to install it. And this is what I was referring to when I said that I was going to make feeding them easier while I'm at work. But I was kind of afraid to install it because, uh, I don't know, I read some reviews on Amazon that some people had their salt get into the fresh water in the aquarium. And, you know, I've made it this far so far with my fry and I don't want to lose them. So I'm going to hold off on this or I'm going to at least see what you guys say about it. And uh, hopefully somebody in the comment section has used this before or that knows how to use it. So if you've used that auto feeder before, just let me know and uh, maybe give me some tips but for right now I'm just doing everything the old school way I got my coffee pot here with br uh, baby brown shrimp and I'm using my phone as a flashlight and the baby brown shrimp is going towards that so that's what I'm feeding them alright guys so I think I'm done with the updates with my fry as far as doing them every day, um, I noticed that not a lot of people were watching them. Um, I mean, it's not like I care about the views or anything. It's just that I really want to keep people's interest. So um, I'm going to go back to making different types of videos. And uh, I might do like updates like maybe once a week on these guys and, you know, update you guys on how they're doing and, and all that stuff. You'll notice that. Within a week, they're going to look a little bit different. Like right now, they just look like little alien heads. But uh, eventually, you'll see a difference. They'll still kind of look kind of weird. But they will look a little bit different here in a week or so. As long as I keep up the water changes and keep up the feedings. So, wish me luck, guys. If you guys uh, like the video, make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.